Welcome back to my channel and today I have a very, very special video for y'all today. It is about this hair in my head. <laughs> um, this is actually from, this hair right here is from a company called Her Given Hair. First off, let me say this is not a sponsored video. I wish it was a sponsored video, <clears throat> but I spent my own coins getting this hair. So this is going to be like a completely honest review. I spent some nice buckaroos purchasing this. This came from my own account. This was my own coins, my own currency, my own cash. I purchased this hair with my own money. So it's going to be completely honest. Um, it is, again, like I was saying, it's from this company called Her Given Hair. I hope y'all can see that because I'm sure the camera is going to glare it out. Um, and let me see what inches I purchased. Okay, I got the texture Kinky um, in 14 and 16 inches. Um, I don't currently know what if I have a 14 or a 16 in my hair right now. I really couldn't tell you um, because 14 and 16 is so close together. I really don't know, but I'm going to assume that I have the... 16 in my hair I don't but I really don't know um I'll show you guys the purchasing or not the purchasing the box I guess the box looks like this it's nothing major it says her given hair right here on the front my box is kind of beat up so excuse me but this is what the front looks like and then it comes in you know this little box right here and it's got their information right here Hopefully y'all can see that. Um, it comes with this little pamphlet here. Hopefully y'all can see this. It just kind of shows you how to take care of the hair. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. And then it also comes with this little card that basically tells you what texture you got and, excuse me, what lengths you got. But I don't know where that card is. Like I lost that a long time ago, so. But um, I just kind of want to tell you guys my honest opinion about the hair. First off, let me start by saying this. I don't think this is the type of hair that you should put on a wig. And I say that from experience because when I first had this hair, I put it on a wig. Like this right here was part of a wig. You see how much hair this is? Like just like just by itself. This is just like, this is just one whole bundle, I believe. Like this is one bundle by itself like this hair is very thick you get a lot of hair in one bundle um i spent let's see 245 dollars um on the hair for both bundles and for shipping um that's not terrible but if you're going to a place like aliexpress to buy your hair 245 dollars for just two bundles may seem like a lot to you but this is really good quality hair in my opinion so i think 245 for it is a decent price but i would not put this hair on a wig because it's just too much hair i had these clippings right here the hair on the floor that i have and this hair all on one wig and it was just too much hair and it wasn't because i mean i'm a pretty decent wig maker i know that if you have a thick bundle of hair you should space it out a little bit but even spacing it out didn't work um i didn't want to split the tracks because i feel like that would be too much work but this is just too much hair to go on a wig i suggest you either sew this hair in really wouldn't suggest that because it's just a lot to deal with sometimes you need to be able to take it out or take it off and like wash it and condition it and do all that but i would suggest doing it with clip-ins um i used these clip-ins right here donna they're brown got them on sale at sally's but i just use these right here to make my clip-ins um it was super easy there's a lot of tutorials about how to make clip-ins so i won't show you guys how to make clip-ins but here's a clip-in right here that i made it's super raunchy super raggedy but i mean it obviously it gets the job done um, i actually need to refresh these clip-ins and it's really easy to refresh these clip-ins to bring them back to life but yeah that's how i made the clip-ins and i just 
install them all over my hair. Um, my hair is completely twisted up in the back. The only leave out that I have out is about this much right here in the front and that's just to cover any tracks you know give that allude that little bang illusion you know that this is really all me um i get a lot of compliments on this hair people think it's mine i appreciate it every time i go to work people be like oh my god girl yes rock your natural i'd be like thank you mm -hmm. and there's no need to tell them that it's not your hair no need at all until they get the feeling and start feeling clips and then you gotta be like listen this ain't even all me but yeah i completely really like this hair um I really only use, I'd say two to three products on this hair. That is a water bottle, spray bottle right here to spritz it up. You, This hair acts exactly like your natural hair. It's gonna shed like your natural hair. It gets tangled like your natural hair. Right now it actually needs to be refreshed because I've been wearing the clip-ins for like two weeks, like nonstop, like every day. I've even slept, I, last night I did. Last night I slept in these, I sleep in these clip-ins. It's definitely time to restore them. But when I do restore them, all I use is water and then the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair, the Curl Activator Cream. Hopefully y'all can see that. That is the only thing that I use to refresh these clip-ins. It's really, really, really easy to do. Um, just like you do your own natural hair. Spritz, get you some, a uh, little bit of curl activating cream, put it in your hand, vage, vage. Um, and that's pretty much how the curl comes back to life. I wanted to show you guys what the curl looked like originally, but I don't have any of the hair that hasn't been manipulated, but I will show you guys this. Um, let's see, this is kind of, this is sort of kind of what the hair looks like, not fresh out of the box. Fresh out of the box, you're going to see that the curls look really uniform. They look too perfect and they look really fake. That's because they're fresh out of the box. After you run your fingers through the hair a little bit, pull it, start manipulating, uh, manipulating it. Um, it's going to look more like this right here. And you can rock that curl, that's fine, but I wanted something a little differently. So what I did was I used that Shea, this stuff right here, used this, some water, and then twisted my clip-ins and have them looking like this. And then once I finished that, I basically just took them down. Didn't put any other product on them besides that water and Shea butter. And then I got this pretty little curl pattern right here. Now this is what my clip-ins looked like two weeks ago. Now that I've worn them like non-stop without refreshing them and been sleeping on them and all that, they look like this. So this is basically your natural hair. Like it, like I said, it acts exactly like your natural hair. You do a twist out, this is what your twist out is looking like the first day. It's popping, it's popping. Afterwards, the curls start to, you know, drop into more of a fro-like situation like you have here. And then you get this. And the hair is actually right now pretty dry. I can tell that I need to refresh it, but I probably won't do that for a while. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is all about the hair. Um, I really, really, really recommend this hair to somebody who, A, has never been natural and wants to figure out, okay, do I want to go natural? Taking care of these clip-ins is going to let you know if you want to go natural. If you can't take care of these clip-ins, you don't need to go natural because this hair is going to act exactly like your hair would. Um, and it, the natural route, people say the natural route isn't for everybody, but if you can't handle it and you want to learn how to handle it, I think this hair would be really good for you to practice on. Um, right now I have in the 4B, the 4C texture. I think they have like a 3A, 3B, 3C. They have many different curl types they even have straight hair which is probably what i'm going to try next but i would definitely give these clip-ins a solid nine and a half um they do shed and that's kind of annoying but i think all hair sheds like not even i think i know that all hair sheds even the best quality hair is gonna shed like it's not gonna be attached to the track forever it eventually it's gonna come off um, but I really love this hair. Really, really love it. I will continue to keep this hair. I've had this hair since April of hmm, 2019. 
2015 or 2016? Uh, let me see. I think it's it's 2016. Yeah, April of 2016 is how long I've had this hair. Yeah. Okay, and it is now January 2017. So I would say that the hair has definitely um, been worth it. Wait, yeah. It's definitely been worth it because I have done a lot of different things with this hair and manipulated it, had it sitting in just like a drawer for like seven months. <laughs> and to see that the curls came back really nicely, really popping, and just like the hair was still really usable even after seven months, and I'll continue to get a lot of wear out of this hair, I would definitely rate this hair a nine and a half. The reason why I wouldn't give it a 10 is just because price-wise, it's kind of up there. I mean, 245 is 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 kind of high, and I got that on a sale, like a really good sale. So 245 is kind of expensive, but I would say it's worth it. And you see, I only docked off 0.5 of a star because of the price. Like the price really isn't that bad for the quality, but I'm cheap. So that's why I can't give it a 10. It's because it was kind of expensive. But I literally love the hair. I get so many compliments. So many people think this is my hair. My mama thought this was my hair. My sister thought this was my hair. Um, some of my coworkers thought it was my hair. And again, I didn't let them know it wasn't. I just really love this hair. At first, I was really upset with it because I just thought it was too kinky. But after manipulating it and getting a twist out on it, putting it on clip-ins, I'm sold. I literally just love it. Like, I love messing with it. I love running my fingers. Well, they don't exactly go through, but I love running my fingers on it. Um, I just really, really love it. I think it's the perfect protective style. Um, if you wanted to do a weave, you could do... Um, a weave with this hair but I just think it would be a lot to deal with like I said this is the type of hair that sometimes I think you need to just take out but other than that I love it I literally love it um so that's pretty much it my review on this hair you really only need two products that any type of curling cream it doesn't have to be Cantu Shea Butter again this video is not sponsored I use that product because it's really good and amazing, but you can use whatever curling cream you have at home. Just some type of cream, conditioner, something that's going to allow some slip. Um, a water bottle. I got that one from Sally's. You don't have to get one from Sally's. Anyone that works that like just gets your spritzer on will do it fine. And some clips. You can get those clips from any hair supply store or you can put it on the wig. You can do whatever you want with the hair, but the hair is amazing. Okay. It's literally amazing love it so much so shout out to her giving hair <laughs> okay so i'll see you guys in my next video make sure to subscribe comment and rate down below okay okay